strands in your eyes I colored them wonderful Stop me and steal my breath And arrows from mountains Burst over the sky My beloved lifts up his voice and says to me, Come then, my love, my lovely one, for see, winter is past, the rains are over and gone. The flowers appear on earth, the season of glad songs has come. The cooing of the turtle dove is heard in our land. The fig tree is forming its first figs, and the blossoming vines give out their fragrance. Come then, my dove, hiding in the clefts of the rock, in the covert of the cliff, show me your face, let me hear your voice. For your voice is sweet and your face is beautiful. My beloved is mine and I am his. The word of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again, rejoice. Your kindness should be known to all. The Lord is near. Have no anxiety at all, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. 
then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence and anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing what you have learned and received and heard and seen. Then the God of peace will be with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Kieran back in 2010. <laughs> he was playing pool in the student bar at our university halls and I turned to my friend Jill and said he had the nicest face I'd ever seen. And apologies to those of you with a weak stomach, I still feel that way now. I would say that mine and Kieran's romance blossomed initially in a place called The Raz. For those of you who aren't familiar, the Raz is the dingiest club in Liverpool, full of unusual characters. We thought it would be an excellent name for the top table. We'd all fit in perfectly there, especially my mum and Karen. <laughs> you are the funniest, most enthusiastic, most unusual person I've ever met. <laughs> Thank God we're both dunces that didn't get into uni the first time round. <laughs> I'm looking forward to spending the rest of my life listening to your embellished anecdotes, <laughs> facts about Lord of the Rings, and your dated indie music. <laughs> Please raise your glasses to my new husband, to Kieran. I love you and I can't wait to be your wife. Let's face it, it took us long enough. <laughs> and I was looking at this tiny little baby and finally the other eye opened and I was absolutely mesmerised and what I would say is everybody here knows Poppy and that beautiful little baby is this beautiful person in front of us and she genuinely is and, and she looks absolutely stunning but a real beauty is it's just a kindness, a little cheeky grin Every, everything about her, a friendship you know everything about Poppy she is genuinely a beautiful person and if it was a competition to be the proudest dad, it would take a lot of winning, but I can guarantee you there won't be a prouder dad. <laughs> um. <laughs> I know. Poppy makes me happy every day. You make me laugh every day. Your enthusiasm and sense of fun is infectious. You're also so patient and tolerant and for someone who has it all, you're so, so modest. <laughs> you look incredible every day and every night, and right now, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Dab at me. <laughs> Eleven years of practice. <laughs> when you walked down the aisle, I couldn't believe my eyes. And that's partially because your sense of direction is normally so bad. <laughs> I was expecting that you'd walk up the aisle or just, just do laps of the church. <laughs> Honestly, we had to put out cones for the rehearsal. It was ridiculous. <laughs> it's your only weakness. <laughs> But I don't mind, because I'm alright at directions. And I think that's one of the things that means that me and Poppy work together so well. Because where I fall short, Poppy excels. Poppy is so kind, so thoughtful, so positive. She cares for people so much and spreads happiness and warmth wherever she goes. She's also punctual and good at singing. 
<laughs> Poppy, my wife, is the most flawless, beautiful, and all-round delightful person that I could ever imagine. I think you are hilarious and weird and gorgeous and perfect. Thank you so, so, so much for saying yes, for being my best friend, my partner, and now my wife. We've got Lord of the Rings on the left and future wife on the right. Now, you might think there's nothing that binds these two together. Well, it turns out that there is because if we look closely at the evidence between Lord of the Rings and future wife, there is, of course, P. Jackson. <laughs> That's the second best Lord of the Rings based best man speech joke you'll hear all afternoon. Should have started with that one, really. Um... Kieran's other love, right. We got to the big bit. So, they also met in first year, and they seem destined to be together. And I think we can all agree today that they make an amazing couple. I think we can also all agree that Poppy looks amazing. I think we can also all agree that Kieran is punching. <laughs> now, in their relationship, they share many of the same hobbies. Their love of sports, with Poppy playing a crowning role in the uh, Liverpool Medics football team. I think she was a better keeper than Kieran, but I'm not too sure. Well, their love of Eurovision, their love of Mickey Klaus, of travelling, and often they'll wake up in the morning, love, stare lovingly into each other's eyes and ask, was it me or you who pissed the bed last night? Looking from a window above, it's like a story of love. Can you hear me? Came back only yesterday, I'm moving farther away. Won't you near me? All I needed was the love you gave. All I needed for another day. And all